All right, in this video, I'm gonna teach you five in-depth steps that will help you become a remote developer. So if you're a complete beginner or if you have some experience, I'm pretty sure, actually I'm 100% convinced that you will get some value out of this video, okay? So let's get started, let's not waste any of your time. The first thing that I would suggest you to do as a beginner is to make sure that you actually understand your syntax. And this goes against the majority of like influencers that are out there, even against myself last year, because I changed my mind as I've been working with beginners. Beginners often hear the fact that, hey, you shouldn't focus on your syntax, focus on the concepts and the things that you are supposed to be doing with the things that you are learning, right? And that is a 100% valid statement. But as a beginner, you are always worried if, how do you remember your syntax? How, you, how do you do that? And you see like these people telling you, don't worry about that. But then your biggest problem is this thing right now, which is writing down your syntax. Well, if that is your first and biggest issue, you should focus 100% on understanding your syntax. If you have a problem, do not hide it under the rug and trying to like do something else. If you see that you have a problem, like face that problem head on. And this is not just about a complete beginner, right? Which is dealing with the syntax, but it's about someone that is more experienced. Maybe you are three months in, and then you see that you have problems with your layouts. Instead of like hiding yourself from creating layouts and mastering layouts, deal with that problem head on, because otherwise it's just gonna uh, make your life more difficult as time goes on because you'll be creating more complex things and then if you are limited by your layouts then you know your applications and your websites will be absolutely terrible if you learn react and whatnot and you didn't understand how to do a map and a filter properly then you'll have big problems with that so always 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 try to figure out what is your biggest weakness and then attack it head on okay and i was talking about syntax i'm gonna go back to that so if you're a complete beginner okay and if you are struggling with your syntax focus on that 100 percent write as many divs as possible write as many variables as possible or write as many functions as possible just make sure that whenever you hear the keyword hey create a button with html then you'll be able to do it without really thinking about it okay because if you learn like the basic things then you'll be able to create more complex things you know you'll be able to freestyle but if your biggest problem is just writing down a div tag, then you won't be able to create the cool stuff. So always the boring stuff is more important than the cool stuff, okay? Keep this in mind. It doesn't matter what level you are here. Indentation, the way you are indenting your code is super important, even though it doesn't make any difference to how the code is being interpreted by the browser. It's some sort of respect, you know, for yourself first because in your first year, you are the only one who's gonna read your code. But then for your future colleagues, okay, they won't hire you if you have like weird indentations and if you don't space things correctly and whatnot, they won't hire you because they will see that that is a big mess and they don't wanna work with a messy person. If you are extremely OCD about it, then that's good. If you're not, then you're gonna fail. Next thing, I wanna give you a quick analogy so you can understand it. I'm the guy with analogies and I have an analogy for everything. When you are driving somewhere, you are in your car, you are driving, you are holding the steering wheel. You just, you don't just look forward, okay? You look in your back mirror, in your side mirrors to check, you know, your environment. As you are learning code, as you are progressing, you learn new things. So always look at how to integrate the thing that you're learning right now with the things that you've learned in the past. Why? Because if you do that, whenever you learn something in the past, you'll be remembering that thing and then you'll grease the groove and you'll understand and you'll have more experience with the thing that you've learned in the past. So not only is gonna help you with you applying this new concept to something that you're already familiar with, but it's also gonna improve your past experiences, okay? This is very important. So for example, if you just pass the HTML and CSS phase of your life and you are relatively comfortable with it, then you are learning some JavaScript as well, then try to figure out how can you integrate this newly found information about JavaScript, maybe when you reach like DOM manipulation and all that stuff, figure out how can you integrate this stuff with the websites that you've built in the past. Maybe you can recreate the entire website that you've made using JavaScript. Maybe you can add 
event listeners to different things in that previous website that you've made. Maybe you can rewrite that website that you've made in the past because now you have more experience, okay, and more knowledge about how to do things. So that's tip number two. Tip number three is to start straight away. I just had a call with a guy which has been coding coding for four months okay and i asked him like hey bro like what do you do when you say you are coding you know something along those lines and he said man every day after work i'm like watching videos i'm watching tutorials i'm watching courses you know for like the past four months and i'm like really and do you have anything he's like no so then i asked him this like you're american or if you're european uh do you know people that maybe you maybe you're watching football right you know someone that's watching football or basketball or whatever sport are those people Pray, playing in the NBA, NFL, Champions League? No. Why? Because they are spectators. I can be sitting, you know, in, on my couch there, watching a guy doing maths, okay, or graphic design or coding, and I can say I'm learning, but I have nothing. I've done nothing for the past four months. I'm just procrastinating. And this usually happens with people that are on the older side. So once you cross this barrier of 25 years old, you know, things change in people. I don't know why. So I want to talk about this for a little bit. But once you cross this barrier, you know, like 25 and then 30, then you'll have like a very, very difficult time actually learning a new skill and making a career change. And it's not because you are stupid, not at all. I don't believe like intelligence is fixed intelligence can be uh, moved up and down but the more you go in your 30s right and then 40s and 50s you become extremely comfortable with who you are okay you are extremely comfortable with who you are and because of that you avoid taking risks you avoid getting out of your comfort zone yeah you might not like the fact you know this guy was working in construction for the past eight years. Yeah, you might not like the fact that, you know, it's cold outside, it's, it's annoying, right? Whatever. Oh, you have to work with your back. Oh, maybe you have to commute. Oh, it's like you don't like it. It's not your absolute favorite thing about your job, but maybe you have nothing that you really like about your job, but it's not as bad. You can deal with it. And that's the thing about the matrix, you know, and the matrix is this thing that holds people stuck where they are to be like consumers, to be like average forever. It's just a little bit bad. You know, you could deal with it for the next 20, 30 years. And I've been recently to, to this party and I've met some of these people, you know, they were working in some corporate bullshit job, some call center bullshit, I don't know exactly what. They were all like managers, trainers, coaches, blah, 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 you know, all this bullshit. And they were all, it was a party, like a birthday party, right? And they, all they were talking about for the entire night was they're bullshit jobs, okay? How bad it is, how they get fucked by the manager, how someone is calling them at night, ta da da ta da 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 And you know, it's very difficult to tell people like, why don't you change? Difficult to ask someone that because you know it's their fault and they will never admit that. They will say something like, oh, I'm too old, or I have mortgage, or I have kids. Like the older you get, the more excuses you'll start to pile up and then you'll never get build the life that you really want. You need to wake up and to realize that right now. And the reason why I'm giving this speech is because you need to start taking action now. Man, it's so simple and you just have to do it, but you'll not do it. I just know, 100% I just know. Fourth thing that you really need is to understand that this is possible. You really need to understand that this is 100% possible no matter your age, Again, the older you get, the harder it's gonna be, but it's not impossible. Regardless of your gender, you can do it if you are a man, female and whatnot. Regardless if you have kids or not, if you have university degree or not, it doesn't matter, you can still do it. But you need to make this, this realization and you should stop <laughs> asking people on the internet if you can do it for your own specific situation because the answer is always yes. The answer has always been yes. Stop seeking validation and approval okay from other people to tell you what to do you have to be responsible for yourself if you have a wife don't ask your wife hey can i learn programming don't tell your friends oh i'm gonna learn programming don't do that just do it there is no need to ask me or someone else if you can do it the moment where you when you ask someone hey can i do this do you think it's a good idea you are taking the responsibility off of your back and you put it on someone else that is biased towards 
their things and they'll give you a biased answer back. If I would, whenever I was telling my mom, hey, I'm gonna quit my job and I'm gonna have a business, she was always telling me no. Not because she uh, doesn't believe in me, but that's how she's programmed. She thinks that it's good to have a job. And it's good to have a job to a certain degree until you figure out the next step. But then after that, you need to get out and create a business. That's my opinion. If you don't like it, that's fine. But I'm just telling you, do not ask anyone else for permission or for support. Okay? Maybe support later once you are good, but do not ask anyone if it's a good idea to do it or not. And then don't tell anyone about the fact that you want to learn programming. Don't tell anyone anything about your goals. Just move in silence. The reason why you shouldn't tell anyone about your goals is because once you tell someone like, bro, I'm going to become this six figures developer. I'm going to work remotely. I'm going to move to Bali, blah, blah, blah. What you do is like you are releasing dopamine. Okay. And dopamine gets released once a, a goal or something good happens to you. And when you tell it to someone, you'll release do that dopamine and you won't want to do the necessary actions to get to your goal because you've already exhausted all the available, you know, things for the dopamine. This is some bro science I just came up with and I was thinking about it. Uh, because probably you've, you've said this before, you had friends that were telling you, bro, I have like big plans, I'm gonna do this, that, that, I'm gonna move mountains, I'm gonna be rich, I'm gonna have this new job, I'm gonna have this blah, blah, blah. And they never achieve anything. Why? Because they released all their dopamine. They have no need right now to achieve their goals. And now they're back to square one. So never tell anyone about your goals, okay? Keep them for yourself. Don't ask anyone for your permission. If you have a wife and you are like, hi, can I learn programming? Hi, can I do this? Is that possible? Come on, bro. What kind of man are you? Or if you're a woman, like you need, per you need permission from someone, ask for support and then for forgiveness. Do your thing. Because otherwise, if you ask for permission from your parents, from your wife from your husband and if they say no then you'll always resent that person because of them you couldn't get to your goals and i've made this mistake when i was trying to learn music i was asking my mom for permission i should have just raised money okay instead of smoking cigarettes and drinking beer and going out with my friends i should have raised money buy speakers create a studio and start making music but instead i was just saying oh because of my mom i cannot become a famous you know producer and all this stuff. That's uh, that's the last, that's the fourth one. And the fifth one is you need the mentor. You already know this, you need someone that's smarter than you, someone that can teach you stuff, someone that can show you the way, someone that, you know, is more knowledgeable than you. So you don't, I guess, waste your time, make the mistakes, waste a lot of money, waste a lot of time. Because honestly, you can learn programming with or without me. The only difference is that the price that you'll be paying. Is it gonna be three years that you'll be paying or is it gonna be one year? Because in those three years, you can make a shit ton of money, okay? If you know what you're doing. And uh, yeah, you'll see this video on the 30th of November and on 1st of December, I'm gonna close the applications for my program for I don't know how much time because I'm restructuring it. So if you are thinking about becoming a programmer, probably in 2023, then you have to apply for a free consultation call. Uh, this is for someone that's either a beginner or is some has some experience in tutorial hell or if you've been doing react But you're not happy you finished the bootcamp you finished university Whatever the case is this program is for you and Yeah, the link is in the description somewhere there and uh, I guess that's it Bye